What is good guys, we have a level 56 versus CGMers for Smog on Snake Draft. Uh, let us talk about the teams real quick. So level 56 team, uh, it has to be Avi Magirna because he's really weak to opposing uh, gear and he's weak to Specs Coco. Um, I assume it's either Scarf Lele or Scarf Lando. Um, since he has a cleft to check Zygarde, that can be like an offensive SD uh, Z-move Lando or offensive off plate Lando. Um, and yeah, he has a Mantan for like stuff like Volcarona, Greninja. Um, and so you can afford to run Scarf Lily since he ha he doesn't need a Scarf that is faster than Volcarona because he has a Mantan. Um, really uh, interesting that both players have a Medichim. Like Medichim, I don't see it that often, especially on both sides. Um, but the Thijima's team is known. I've uploaded some games already with this team uh, on my channel. Scarf, Nihilic over Toxic Spikes, if I recall correctly. Zemo of Kartana, I think. Spadev Gastron, which is going to be nice to wall the gear in this game. Uh, I assume Sijima is just going to Moonblast here because Medichim doesn't even die from full to Moonblast. And this Medichim is definitely a threat. Like, Clefable is his best answer to Medichim. Clefable still takes like uh, over half from Zen Head, but I'm pretty sure. So he's pretty tempted to Moonblast here. A uh, level 56 might just go to his mag. Um, I'm thinking this is just a Rocks knockoff Clefable. I don't really remember the entire, the, like, the correct set. Like I said, this team was used on my channel, but I don't remember every set. I just know it's Bedev Gastron with a cover Toxic of Quick and Scald. And I think Rocks Clef, yeah. I mean, the only other potential rocker is Nihiligo, and I remember that the Nihiligo was Toxic Spikes, and then I think it was T Bolt and Double Stab. Uh, but yeah, now he's gonna go to Gastron. So level 56 can double to his Clefable here and get up Rocks, or he can double to. Yeah, to Clefable would be a good double. He just goes for Floricam, which is fine as well. Uh, Sijimas wants to keep this healthy, so he's probably just gonna go for Recover. Another option would be going into Katana predicting the Clefable, like doubling into Katana here. But yeah, it's probably wise to keep this healthy. I think Flurkin only has 8 PP, so Recover is completely fine here. It's not like you get um, it's not like you get PP stalled out of your Recovers that easily. But your level is definitely gonna switch here unless he has the rare energy ball, which is definitely not gonna be the case. <laughs> um, he's gonna switch here into his clef. But it's, this is looking like it's gonna be a longer game <laughs> because they both have like um, a little bit of a fat defensive core going on. But yeah, once the clefs, the clefs on both sides, once they get weakened a bit, uh, Medichim can can put in work on both sides. Medichim uh, definitely a menace, uh, hard to switch into. Like if Sijima said, uh, like if. Like if both clefs have knockoff and then knock off the opposing clef, that would um, be step one for Medichim to become a big threat. So yeah, level is now gonna get his rocks. Like if he's a SD Lando, this might have rocks the clef. Um, yeah, otherwise I can see him going for like a knockoff. It's not worth it to call my up this early in the game. Definitely not worth it when he has a Cartana and a Celestila. Um, I feel like knockoff is just super nice to get rid of an item and if he doesn't have that he can just click rocks. Um, yeah, one of the two. Just seem like super nice options. I don't think Zijumas wants to let this uh, Gastro get knocked. So he goes on his own Clefable. This is what I'm talking about. This is step one for Medichim to become a threat if Clefable gets weakened. Um, I, I assume Zijuma is going to do the same here and also go for a knock. But I might just exchange rocks. I guess I can see why level didn't go for rocks because he has a Mantine that is um, that is weak to rocks, and if, it's, it's, if his opponent gets up rocks, he might be a bit annoyed by that. Um, what is Mantine doing this game? Mantine is nice for Celestila. Uh, other than that, Mantine doesn't even wall that much. Yeah, Mantine doesn't put in too much work. Like Celestila is still a nice Mantine with Leech Sheet, so he goes on the Mantine now, so he just wants to defog. But the thing is, rocks has more PP than defog anyway. So he's gonna get knocked here, I assume, if he can't comment up. But he's gonna comment up, so that tells us that he's rocks, comment, moonblast, softballed. Okay, so now we know the entire moveset, so he doesn't have knockoff. Um, I thought he would have knockoff because that's his only potential knockoff user. So he gets up rocks again, that's a fine play. He got crit, which is a bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. He can just softball it up, and he can just get rocks back up. Like I said, uh, rocks is more repeat and defog. I've talked about this before in videos, pretty, like... Like Manta never gets the defog off in the long run. Um, I would. I don't think I would have moonblasted there. I probably would have calm minded again. 
Oh, he has haze, okay. So, like, Mentan is not threatened by Clefable at all. It, ha it has haze. Um, like, otherwise, if Clefable would go and command up more, uh, level would be forced out into maybe his gear. Um, if his gear has Iron Head, it can check the Clef pretty well. Even if it commands up multiple, multiple times, but since he has haze. Uh, in that sense, he doesn't have to fear the Clef, but still, Clef is gonna keep up rocks in the long run. I talked about this already. <laughs> I guess he's just gonna defog again. Sijuma is gonna um, call mind again. He scalded, okay. I mean, uh, scalding is fine because he's kind of starting out. Um, he's forcing the Clef to eventually softball again. Um, and if he can waste Clef able softball, that is nice for his manage him. It's gonna take a while though. So the rocks are gonna go up back again now. This is like a bit repetitive, but what can you do? <laughs> Yeah, Haze is gonna be nice because Haze is at 40, has 48 PP. So if he doesn't want to waste all sc more score PP, um, Haze is definitely nice here. But I don't think he gains anything from doing this because, like I said, rocks are gonna stay up. Um, I think eventually he just has to switch into his gear or into his. Uh, maybe his Lando. Yeah, like Lando is an option as well. So I'm thinking levels Clef doesn't have Calm Mind. He should knock off and. I assume it's a, a knockoff rocks clef. So Sijuma can command up again here. <laughs> um, eventually one of the two players will be um will switch out. Like they will not, they will not stay in here forever. Um But I think it's gonna be level 56 who's gonna switch out first. If Sijuma keeps staying in and going for rocks, uh, I don't think level can do anything about it. Rocks will just have to stay on his side. Uh, if Sijuma gets annoyed by this exchange, I guess he could go into Medicham on a defog, but then level just goes to Clef, so he doesn't make any progress. Like, and you guys can see that he scalded. So he, uh, if he like went into something like Nihiligo or Mediday, um, scald was actually not uh, like it wasn't not as bad play. He can potentially catch the switch out. Like I don't think Sijuma is switching, but in case he. Um, like some of the players get tired of this and switch out, I can understand why he scored it. I mean, he also scored it to waste the softballs from Clef. The rocks are gonna go back up now <laughs> as he hazes the common boost away. But the thing is, I think he already used like a few skulls and... Like, I don't know how many exactly, but I think he used like five skulls. Like, he doesn't have that many skulls. I wish common had... Like, if Kalman had like 64 PP, that would be so fire. That sounds broken as fuck, though. <laughs> like, if Kalman had more PP than Haze, then you could just always keep calm mining and then uh, Sijima could beat this Manta 101. No, I kinda just want. The reason why I wanted it to have more PP is that would mean level would be forced out. I just want someone to switch because this is just gonna take forever if they stay in. Uh, they're gonna repetitively click uh, Defog and Rocks and then Haze and Calm Mind. <laughs> like, it's just a bit annoying. Mm. So he's gonna defog again here. Sijuma is gonna call mine again. Most likely. I guess you guys can skip this part if you. But I, I hope you nah. Just watch the entire video. <laughs> like I put in so much work for you guys. Like, um, you don't you don't know how much how much work I put in. Earlier I was re-narrating a game, and my brother kept um, interrupting me, so I had to redo it, redo it, redo it. It was fucking annoying. I wasted like one hour. On a game that was only 15 minutes, it was super annoying. And then my internet died, so I couldn't even upload. Um, yes, yeah, so it was super annoying. So yeah, he's gonna go for rocks again here. Yeah, I already asked in another video, I'm gonna ask you guys again. Um, if you also want lower tiers, uh, stay tuned for that. Just leave a comment if you want lower tiers. I have some LC games, some UU games, some NU games, some RU games recorded, and even some Ubers. My man Ultra Balls is gonna come through because he plays uh, lower tiers, especially NU. He plays that himself. Um, so he's gonna be able to give better um, narration. I don't play lower tiers, so I'm not gonna be able to give the best narration for that. So I'm gonna give him to. I'm gonna send him those games that I record, and he's gonna narrate over them for you guys. Which it's gonna be fire. I'm gonna watch the, his re-narration myself because I actually kind of like. I kind of been enjoying uh, lower tiers, like watching them, as like uh, as a change up to OU. Uh, I still enjoy OU the most, but sometimes it's really nice to have something else because it can get a bit stale. Um, I, like I don't have the same opinion as a lot of people that think OU is boring at the moment. I think like OU is still interesting for me, and Ultra Sun Moon is right around the corner, so we're gonna um, at least get some sort of refreshing. Th 
like some some new toys to play with and uh, the new Como Z move uh, we have new move tutors I hope we as aim said in this video I really hope we get defog tutors I've been when I've been waiting for that forever to use stuff like defog glitch score it's gonna be amazing but yeah I have some time here to talk about something else because they're taking forever oh yeah I think Mimikyu also gets a specific Z move and then we have some new ultra beasts but I really hope we get more new mods I think they only revealed like some new ultra beasts and then this new lightning rock form or something like that I really want more new mods okay yeah, Sijima got tired of it and he switched out into Gastron which was a perfectly fine play because if he scarlet there uh, Gastron has storm drain it cannot get burned so it was a fine play um, level is gonna switch here because he doesn't want to get toxic on his manta and he's gonna switch to his clef here most likely uh, Sijima does the same so it's gonna be oh he scalds wow so he predicted him to double I don't think he predicted him to double into Clef. I think he predicted him to double into like Kartana or Nihilig or something like that. So he gets his rocks up and this time he goes into Landris and Sijuma is gonna switch here into his Celesteela most likely. Uh, because he needs his Clef healthy for the Medichim. At the moment it's not even healthy enough to switch into Zen Headbutt. Um, so I assume he's gonna go Celesteela like I said and level might SD up. If he's SD Smackdown this is a threat for sure. So he just gets his rocks. So he doesn't have rocks on his clef. He should knock off on his clef. Um, so Moonblast softball. What would be the last move on level's clefable? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm actually uh, kind of a fan of T-Wave clef at the moment. But even though no one really uses it. That that that's nasty set. That nasty set from Auras. You can call me disgusting. I don't care. Call me T-Wave is still fire. <laughs> as long as you hit your T-Wave. But if he has Smackdown, he can go for that. Otherwise, um, he's gonna go to Mantan here, something like that. Yeah, he goes to Mantan. I assume Tsunima is gonna lead you a heavy slam. Yeah. And the thing is, like, he just set up his rocks. So, like, if he defox now, he set up his rocks for nothing. Um, so I assume he's either gonna score. Like, Tsunima can just go to Clefable here for free because um, then he gets the recovery from Leech Seed. Um, levels, he's gonna, like, I don't know, maybe Roost. I don't think Scalding is worth it at all because he just has a free switch into Clef. Okay, so he just defogs. Um, Gemma talks a lot about scenarios like this in his short on live where like people set up rocks and then they defog t two turns later. Like I don't think he should have rocked with his land though. Uh, if he had Smackdown, he should have gone for that on the Steeler. Like predicted the Steeler to come out. Like now this is really bad for level. He's gonna be forced out because this time he's also lead seated. Um, so yeah, Sijima can go for rocks again here. A level is gonna be forced out into his land of slash uh, gear. Who has the gear? I assume it has Iron Head. The way this has been, this comes out. Um, See, so Juma can just go into his Gastron. He doesn't have to risk anything, and he got his rocks up, which is what he wanted. Um, yeah, but I would definitely. Um, let me see. So I'm level 56 here. I either click Iron Head, not wanting to risk anything, or I double out, uh, predicting the Gastrodon. The thing is, he doesn't even have a, uh, like the best play to like predict the Gastrodon. So like, he floor cans, I guess, um, kind of predicting the Gastrodon, because that's still the best move that this gear has to hit the Gastro. Uh, but it bounces off, so you can just recover again. Um, and even if level goes to Mantan now here, and he cannot really go to Mantan because he might get toxic. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna go to his Clef here. Like even if this Gastro doesn't have Toxic, Mantan, if Mantan comes in on Defox, Clef just comes back up. Mantan just took rocks and then Clef sets rocks back up. Like it doesn't really gain him anything going Mantan here is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. I think he has to go Clefable. Because you don't want to go Heart Manage him and risk getting Scald burned. Well, he goes Heart Manage him. What if he Scalded? He doubles and on the Heligo. Um, let me see what he predict there. Um, I can make him like... Medicham with true Gastron. I think he predicted the Clefable to come out or the Mantan. Uh, probably the Clefable. I don't remember. I think Sijuma's Clefable was back at full because of the Lee recovery. But yeah, level is probably gonna go for a Zen but here and it's gonna be tough for Sijuma to switch into. I don't think there's any need to go for Fake Out. You can just go hard for Zen Head, but. He goes for Zen Head, but it does 57. Um, so Clefable gets 2 hit KO'd here. Um, so Sijuma can try to go into like Kartana on his Zen Head, but it's risky. So he either, like, Sijuma either has to bank on a dodge here or like 
yeah like you have to dodge or he has to like try to pivot uh, but he doesn't really have a good pivot for this like katana would work here and but i don't even think katana can all go to manage him so even that wouldn't be the best pivot yeah like sigma is just um gonna have to sack something here probably probably do um if he loses the cleft that would be awful though like if, if he goes into his uh, Salastila here on the but um, then he still gets blown away by like a uh, high jump kick the next turn. Even though he can play some mind games because um, Salastila runs protect, so Manichim doesn't really want to go for HJK versus that. Um, but if he sacks his clef, it's just really bad because if Mantan defaults, the rocks are going to be gone forever. And then Level can get up his own rocks, uh, and Sejuma doesn't have any hazard control and would be really annoying for Sejuma. Hmm. And he dodges a high jump kick. That is really unfortunate. Um, so level went for high jump kick there um, because it covered Sijuma pivoting into um, Celestila or into Katana. So that was a really good play by level 56. But high jump kick, uh, the good move that we know, it does not hit as much as we hope uh, as we would like to. So that was really fucking annoying. Um, like if high jump kick would only miss, that would already be annoying. But the the extra 50% recoil, like. The thing, like the damage that you take, the secondary effect is really stupid. Um, and now Sijuma is free here to go click Moonblast. The only way level can make up for this miss is uh, if he gets his Zen Headbutt flinch, that would be some justice. Mm. But I think the level is gonna switch now. Uh, I think it's gonna switch into his gear or into his own clef. Yeah, this is just how Medicham works. If you don't have a Mew, you kind of forced to sack something every time. Like even with left, even if the clef still had his lefties, um, I think it would have been a roll in, in levels favor to hit KO the clef. And even if you have a Mew on a lot of teams, um, if, you, if the opponent gets up T spikes, Mew is not a Magic counter anymore as well. Like Magic is a stupid mount to switch into, so it just goes into the gear. Uh, CG Man just Moonblast. Completely agree with that play. Uh, he's gonna be able to go into his gas run here. And yeah, CG Man is in a good position now because he was able to to dodge a high jump kick. Um, like, level didn't have to make that play, but overall it was a really good play, but level it just didn't work out in his favor. Because like I like I, like I even considered like you guys could hear, I considered going into one of the steel types there. I said I said a katana a lot, but a Celestia would have been a better pivot most likely because Katana cannot Oko Medi. Uh, so he doubles back into Medi here. Uh, what did he predict there? He predicted the Gastron, yeah. Uh Sijuma went into Celestia this time, making a nice play. Uh, because Celestia can eat high jump kick better than Gastron, so that this was like a mid ground play in that sense. If Sijuma was fearing a manage him double, um, then and he, I don't know if he feared the high jump kick double and made it made the Celestia mid ground in that scenario. I think he just wanted to switch up his plays. But he knows that level is never going to voltage because he has a Gastron. Um, level has been showing that he was uh, he has been floor cannoning a bit, and Celestia will be able to eat that up. Um, so he switches. I assume he's going to lead you to heavy slam here, heavy slam Bob. Uh, Mantan is going to be forced to roost. Uh, so you can either go to his own clef and get um make sure to keep rocks up or you can go to his um you can go to his own manage him or his nihiligo and uh, not nihiligo yeah nihiligo works as well like he has a lot of options here yeah so he goes to his own manage him um i was just mixing out names earlier i was like between nihiligo and katana like in my head i was thinking he could go to katana but then i said nihiligo loud <laughs> well but yeah uh, mantan is gonna be forced out uh, but I think Level's Clefable is still healthy and has leftovers. But we've seen uh, Zen Headbutt does a fuck ton to Clef, so like it doesn't even switch in the well. Um, it has to like get like a low roll, I think, to eat to Zenth. So he goes in the gear here, I think he predicted a Zen Headbutt. And he gets the play correct. Uh, let's see if he, maybe he's gonna try to pivot into his Lele here on the high jump kick. His Clefable is at full. Yeah, he can go to his Clef or his Lele here, expecting a high jump kick. Because I'm pretty sure that Sijuma, um, I mean, he doesn't have to risk it to be fair. He has seen that his opponent has missed the high jump kick, maybe he doesn't want to risk it. If he doesn't want to risk it, he can go into a Celestila because Celestila covers Fleur Cannon, uh, it covers level switching into Lele, and it covers uh, level switching into his Clef. So, like, I think Celestila is like a really good play here for Sijuma this specific turn. You don't have to risk a high jump kick. He's not volt switching here because you have a gaster on the back and there's a medicham in front of him. So like, if anything, if he's staying, he's probably gonna flare. So he goes to Clef. Um, like I said, um, Celestia would have been a godly mid ground there. 
But the thing is, the thing is, um, Celestia could get knocked off by the cliff then next turn. So uh, Drain Punch is also fine then because it doesn't it doesn't risk missing. Uh, I assume that would have cut because he took his time and he didn't click it immediately. So that's an interesting set back on Drain Punch. So now he went to the Lego here predicting. Um, not sure what he predicted, but Kofail basically cannot really touch this Nihiligo. Um This Nihiligo might have HPIs, but uh, on the team that I've seen, like I've seen this team used a few times, like I said, it did not have HPIs on that team, when like I think Blunder used it. So I assume Sijima is going to switch here um, into Salastila. If level has Smackdown, he should go for it here. Um, or if level has SD, that's, that's also a good play. Like If he has SD Smackdown and goes for one of the two moves here, um, that's, that puts some offensive pressure on Sijuma. Um, I don't think he's ever staying in here. Uh, a Scarf Nihiligo can potentially clean up late game. There's no point in staying in. Huh, like, I'm not thinking if Level should go for rocks because um, you have seen earlier he went for rocks and then he just defucked like a bit later. Um, yeah, level would be in a better position if you obviously if obviously if you didn't miss the edge check here on the cliff. But what can you do? This is Mons. If he has nothing to to hit the Salas dealer on his land, then he's either gonna rocks or double out. Like he can double into Manta and especially like basically I said it's I cannot talk, but an option would have been doubling into Mantine. So he goes into the gear here. I'm not 100% sure what he predicted. Uh, he was scouting for HPIs. He was scouting for HPIs, so that makes sense. But I think he's kind of old switch here, right? Yeah, I think he predicted Leech Seed, and he's a slow gear, which is pretty standard on Assault Vest these days, that you run less speed than Celestia, so you get the slow Volt Switch. But now his gear is super low. Uh, Nihiligo is going to be super annoying for level now that the, that the Magina is so low. Nihiligo is going to be a threat. Um, when, when do you ever hear those words, Nihiligo can be a threat? Um, because Nihiligo is, uh, most of the time, pretty shitty mon. I have used Nihiligo in the past, but... Uh, I realized it's not as good. <laughs> is that why in Volcorn are not that common? That Nihiligo was like... That was like Nihiligo's kind of niche to check Volcorn really good. Volcorn is not even common at the moment. I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of used in tour play, but I think on ladder it's not that common. So it's gonna fake out here, I think. Yeah, Ice Punch. Basically, he's not gonna high jump kick there because Protect was quite obvious. Now we can high jump Kiki as long as he connects, he's in a good position. And he misses again, yeah, come the fuck on. High jump kick into Zen would have been able to pick off this Clefable. Um So this sucks a lot. This Clefable should have been dead two times already now, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And I don't see how level can win this game now. He's probably gonna get r destroyed by... Um, Nihiligo is gonna give him problems. Gastrion is gonna wall his entire team besides Landorus. And... Celestila like also bolts the landers if the land doesn't have smackdown. And Katana is also gonna be an offensive threat. There's just, just so many threats from Jigima's side to level side at this point. Um it would have been a different game if he, if his Medicham would be trained better. Sorry for the bad joke. <laughs> but like if he hit this high jump kicks, it would have been a different game, is what I'm trying to say. So they exchange rocks here at this point, he's like Whatever, let's just exchange rocks if I can't keep rocks off on my side. And yeah, Sijuma should go into his Celestila, but he does not for some reason. And he's gonna take a lot from this. If he softballs, this is fine. He just moonblasts it. Yeah, I don't know why he's never going Celestila. Oh, I forgot his Celestia was already weakened, yeah. His Celestia was already weakened, but still. Um. Hmm. I guess he doesn't need the Clef for much, because the Mon that he needed the Clef for is already dead. <laughs> because it dodged uh, to high jump kicks. I mean, Clef is still nice to have because um, it can still heal on stuff like Manta. Like, like, don't get me wrong, Clef can still put in some work, but the main one he needed it for was the Medi. So yeah, he was always off quicking there. He was not gonna heal. It. He was not gonna let him heal for free. So now he shows Smackdown. Okay. Um. So it's okay. It's understandable. Um, th that he stayed in with the Clef. 
CG one might have also predicted a smackdown earlier. I did not think about that too much. Sometimes like sometimes my narration is fire, but like that's done one there's like some specific turn sometimes where I just don't think uh, enough and and I like um I kinda like talk down on the players when they don't deserve it because um yeah. There's like something like some something behind their turn, like th there's a thought process behind their play and I didn't think about that. Like sometimes it's just fifty fifties. But yeah, he was uh like he could have gone Cartana there, but second clef is fine. Like it would still be nice to have like I said, but he didn't need it to win anymore at this point. And uh, now he can go to his Medicham or his Katana. I mean he can also go sell his even click heavy slam, but I don't think he wants to do that. I think he wants to go into an offensive mod. Like Katana is looking like really threatening, it doesn't have good switching, so I would probably go to Katana and click Leaf Blade. Mantan is quite low, it's not a good known to switch in at all. Um, the gear is low as well. Yeah, he has no switches to Cartana, just go ahead and click Leaf Blade, my man. If he sex the. If if the Cartana would be Scarf, I think it would just win right here. With Leaf Blade, it pretty much just wins right here if it was Scarf, but it's uh, probably SDZ move. <laughs> because Leaf Blade pretty much gets a kill, then he gets an attack boost, and then he just sweeps through everything. Unless the clef has like flamethrower. Now I guess the clef could still the clef could still uh, live a leaf plate, probably a plus one leaf plate, and then knock it off. So it wouldn't just win, but it pretty much puts in a lot of work. Um so he he probably ran the calc if Nihiligo can kill with power gem. Yeah, I, I guess Nihiligo also kinda wins with power gem, that's kinda the same. Then um Katana with leaf plate if it was scarf, but the, the difference is this Nihiligo is scarf, so he sacks the gear, power gem is gonna be able to two it KO this. Um, yeah, it's f that did 8, <laughs> but it's gonna be able to 2 it KO. And at plus, I think that Nihiligo just wins, right? Like, he can live in Power Gem and then knock it off with Clef, but other than that, everything... Uh, Lele might live a hit, okay, Lele might live a hit, Lele has good speed def. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so he goes in the Lele knowing that he can most likely live a hit because of Lele's good natural speed def. For a second, I thought this just wins, and... Like, it, it doesn't just win, like, if Kafebe could have also taken a hit and knocked it off, but then he would have had to sack that as well. And if he sacks Clefable, then the opposing Medi is a probably pretty big problem. But we have seen uh, Clef doesn't even switch into Medi well at all. Um, as long as Medi can hit his moves. Also, Psychic Terrain with Medi Chimps and Headbutt is fire. Um, we didn't see it this game. But if, if Psychic Terrain is up, then Headbutt is super strong. But yeah, uh, Sejima is going to save this because Nihiligo pretty much just wins uh, if he gets some more chip. But to be fair, Nihiligo has a multiple. Sejima has multiple win cons at this point, so it doesn't matter. So it gets. Takes a lot from that. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's Scarf, but I assume it's Scarf. Yeah, yeah it has to be Scarf. Because we have seen that the lander was Z move. That's also what I thought at team preview. Um, so this Gastro probably has a little bit of fist death investment. Uh, I mean, it's a Lily and Psychic Terrain. Don't underestimate it. Let's not underestimate it. So yeah, Sludge Rev is uh, pretty free here for Sijuma. I assume it kills, otherwise he wouldn't have gone. Okay, Sludge Bomb. So he gets a Beast Boost here. And there's Nihiligo just wins. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will have more games coming later. Um, actually, uh, I already I recorded three Snake games today. Uh, I recorded some other games earlier. So if this is the latest upload of the day, then there was not going to be any other m games. But you can expect more uploads tomorrow then, if that's the case. You can also expect guest uploads um, from my man Ultra Balls. Like I said, let me know if you want lower tiers. The Mantan obviously does not take that at plus one at 29%. And yeah. Nihiligo sweeping, when do you ever hear those words? Thank you guys for watching, have a fantastic day, and peace out friends, Bob. Congrats for Sijima for this win, but yeah, um, he's doing pretty well in Snake. This was an older game, but like, um, unfortunate hacks. And yeah, peace out friends.